Now I want to show you guys a nifty trick, um, one that you'll probably use a lot, especially in later videos once we get into merging, is seeing the differences between two files. So let's say, let's just modify um, book one somehow again. Um, so I have the title, I you know, the title of book one is lame. Let's rename it um, The Great whoops, Adventure. Right? So I'm going to save it, just a little control S action there. And now when I do a get status, it's going to confirm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I must have screwed up my settings somehow. Okay. So now a get status is going to tell us, okay, we made, you made a modification to book one. And it's in red, meaning you have not told, you, this is not in your mailbox yet. We will not be sending this to the publisher. Well, maybe I was like, mm, but what did I change? You know, maybe I changed it a long time ago, you know, especially after writing all night. I don't remember what exactly the change was, that, it's di that it differs somehow from the first one. Well, those of you familiar with Unix are going to be familiar with diff, um, which is just going to tell us, okay, here's the difference. You know, here's the difference between these two files. So I'm just going to use git diff, and that's going to say, oh, here's the differences. Okay, so in book 1a and book 1b, the index is this commit right here. And these, so the negative signs are going to be from a book 1, and the plus signs are from b book 1, which are pretty much going to be, this is what's already up, at, this is what the publisher has, and this is what we have. So we, we have the great adventure. The publisher has book 1. So that tells us the differences. Pretty much, if, pretty much what it's telling us is if we commit this right now, title book one is going to be deleted. Title the great adventure is going to be added. That's essentially what's going on. Now, this is with one little change that we made. Sometimes when you get into huge files, it can get a lot more complicated. But in the quick run, that's going to tell us what's the difference between these two. Now, maybe we made a lot of changes to our working directory. And we don't want to see all these things. Maybe we made tons of changes to book two, and we don't want it to show us every single difference in book two. Well, what we'll do instead then is um, we will add. So what we'll do instead is we'll add it to our staging index first. So remember, it's not in our staging index. It's still in our working directory. So to add it to our staging, staging index, add it to our mailbox, we're going to do git add book one. So now if I look at the mailbox or the staging index, okay, it's in that dark greener, and it's going to say, hey, you've modified book one, and this is in your mailbox, ready to be sent off. Well, now all I have to do is git diff dash dash staged. And it's only going to show me the differences of the files in the staging index. Most of the time, this is what I would recommend you use, is because, I mean, really, the staging index is what you're about to push up there. So you want to look at the differences between the staging index and the, and the repository, the publisher in your mailbox, versus what's in your working directory. Because sometimes your working directory, your writer's desk, can just be full of cluttered messes, and you really don't want to deal with all that.